Hey guys, Jamie here. Welcome to what is my now 801st video after I only realised there, like today, that the uh, burnout video didn't upload properly. It was literally just the thumbnail. Um, but anyway, today we're back for a weekend vlog and uh, there's a couple of eventful things that happened this week. Um, mainly, you know, Messi wanting to leave Barcelona. Yeah, I was shocked as well. Um, but to be honest, I think the reason that Messi wants to leave Barcelona is not just because he's been there for 15 years and he's already won well, practically everything, apart from the Premier League. <laughs> anyway, um, I think that literally might be the only thing Messi's not won. It's the Premier League. Um, but anyway, I think probably one of the main reasons he wants to leave is maybe just because he's sick of getting smashed in the Champions League every year. I mean, since they won it in 2015, they've lost 2-0 to Atletico, 4-0 to PSG, and yet, and yet, and yet, and yet PSG somehow end, PSG were 4-0 up and somehow ended up losing that. Then in the next round after that, 3-0 to Juventus, then 3-0 to Roma the next year, then 4-0 to Liverpool, and now 8-2 to Bayern Munich. And then two seasons before they won it, they lost 7-0 on aggregate to Bayern Munich. 4-0 in Germany. So I think that's the reason Messi wants to leave. It's probably just because he's sick of getting smashed in the Champions League every year. He's, he's probably getting sick of it. And there's rumours that he might go to PSG. The one that sort of worries me is him going to Man City. Because people say if, if Messi goes to Man City, then Man City will win the league. Have you seen no defence? Benjamin Mendy. Is he even a, a left back? Did you see... Hang on, they need to get some water. Did you see his performance against Wolves when they lost 3-2? And yeah, they were 3-2 up. No, they were 2-0 up away at Wolves, and they somehow, don't ask me how, somehow conspired to lose 3-2. Even I don't know how they managed to do that. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I was laughing, but I still don't know how they managed to lose 3-2 to Wolves when they were 2 when they were 2 up. Like, if you're 2-0 up, you should not be losing. Anyway, um, I think City have missed company. And Laporte. I think Laporte was injured for a bit this season. Um, and yeah, the commentators in the community... Yeah, uh, Arsenal won the community shield. I'm not, I'm not really that bothered. Um, I know people are going to say, Oh, you're better because you lost. Well, yeah, I don't like loot, but... I don't like losing, but who does? Who does like losing? Know what I mean? Yeah, we probably should have put them away, but then again, it's community shield. It's just a friendly, really. There's nothing really big about it. No one really cares about it. Um... But yeah, uh, we lost the Community Shield last year, and we ended up winning the Premier League. So, yeah, we lost the Community Shield last year to Man City, and we ended up winning the league. So, deja vu? Maybe we lose the Community Shield, and yeah, the, the light reflecting off this is kind of annoying me. So, yeah, this is literally just like a Northern Ireland training t-shirt. I found it in JD, and I just thought, as long as it fits me, and as long as I don't look fat, I'll be fine. So, yeah, um... Even though I kind of do look bad, but whatever. Anyway, um, I'm going to have to move over a little bit here, because that's really annoying me. Um, eh, it'll do. Um, anyway, um, Rayan Brewster missed a penalty, and I think Curtis Jones actually consoled him after, which I kind of liked. Um, Curtis, I think, he Rayan, it ended 5-4 in penalties. Brewster was the only one that didn't score. Um, but, yeah. At least it's not like... At least Liverpool fans didn't react the way they did or uh, at least Liverpool fans didn't react to Ryan Brewster the same way Chelsea fans did to Tammy Abraham last year when he missed a penalty. So, yeah. Um, and, yeah, uh, but if Messi goes to Man City, I don't know if they'll win the league. I mean, yes, he's a good player, but at the same time, he's 33. And Man City need defenders. So, if he goes to Man City, they might do well. I mean, they'll, I mean they, surely they'll do better than they did last season. I mean, twenty-five points behind Liverpool, and somehow losing to Man, and somehow losing to one of the worst Man United teams I've ever seen, three times. Now, how do you lose to Man United three times in one season? Even Huddersfield didn't do that. Seriously, even Huddersfield were unbeaten against Man United at home. Man City played City at the Man City played United at the Etihad had twice, and lost twice. So. Yeah, um, so yeah, uh, City do need defenders, so I don't, th I think City will put up a good fight if he goes there, but I don't know if they'll win the league, because 
they do need a left back because Benjamin Mendy is well terrible um yeah I mean City do need defenders anyway um what else is there to talk about um Rangers beat Hamilton 2-0 yeah that's yeah it's SPL it was a 2-0 win don't really need to say much I mean a bunch of drunk goats could probably, could probably beat that Hamilton team like you could take 11 people out of my estate put them on that pitch and they'd probably beat that Hamilton team yeah I mean apart from Rangers Celtic Hartebs and Aberdeen that's basically what Scottish football is um, so yeah now then uh, that's a, enough of the football right then SummerSlam uh, all I can really remember from SummerSlam uh, Drew McIntyre beat Randy Orton anything else what, what else was there Asuka beat Sasha Banks for the Raw Women's title uh, she's had five women's title defences lost every she's won the Raw Women's Championship five times had five title defences of it lost every single one <laughs> yeah she's had the title five times she's lost it at the first attempt Every single time. That kind of frustrates me because I don't like Bailey and Sasha Banks, but I'm sorry, I got distracted and I was watching a friend's video. Anyway, where were we? Uh, SummerSlam. Uh, Asuka beat Sasha Banks for the Raw Women's title. Um, yeah, as I said, Sasha's never defended a title successfully. Unless in NXT. Can someone correct me in the comments below? Because I don't, I didn't stop watching NXT until like last year. Like February last year was when I started watching NXT. So, yeah. I watched yesterday. I watched the uh, Fatal 4-Way from I think TakeOver Res Respect, I think it was. Um, between Bailey, Sasha Bank, Charlotte and Becky Lynch. I think Sasha ended up winning that match. It was a good match. Um, I don't know. Um... Has she ever defended a title success successfully? Unless you get the women's tag team titles. I think that's literally the only title she's ever retained successfully. And she's won the Royal Women's title like five times. Um, so yeah, and then Asuka did lose to Bailey, unfortunately. Um, anyway, the, the, the Fiend uh, beat Braun Strowman for the, for the Universal title, but that's not really the relevant thing that, from that match. Because after the match, Roman Reigns came back. Which I was not expecting. Yeah, he returned. Uh, apparently he turned heel. I don't know. I couldn't really tell he turned heel. Until Smackdown this week. When he appeared alongside Paul Heyman. Yeah, Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman. Who saw that coming? Like, he literally. You have to give WWE credit here. Because literally, who saw that coming? Who actually saw that coming? I didn't. I didn't see Roman Reigns coming back, and I didn't see Paul Heyman appearing with him. And yet now we're getting a triple threat of payback, which is literally tonight between... I was about to say Randy Orton for some reason. Um, my phone just vibrated. What is that? Oh, uh, uh, WWE's Facebook page is live or something, whatever. Anyway, where was I? There's a triple threat of payback between Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman, and The Fiend. But, like, something tells me Roman Reigns is going to win the match, despite the fact that The Fiend's been champion for... A week. So, yeah, I mean, I'm happy that Bray got to hold the title again, but hopefully he can retain it, and then hopefully they can give Roman the title at... Maybe they... Hopefully let him hold it until... Maybe Survivor Series or Hell in a Cell, I don't know. What's the pay-per-view next month? I can't remember. Is it, Night of, is it Class of Champions or Night of Champions? Whatever it's called now. Hopefully he can hold on to it until either Hell in a Cell or Survivor Series, because having him lose the title after a week would be kind of frustrating. Um, and I think Billy and Sasha Banks are also defending the women's tag team titles um, against Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. Yeah, it's a weird team. Uh, but Shayna Baszler could literally kill anyone. I mean, she came into the Royal Rumble this year and eliminated eight people in three minutes. Yeah, three minutes. So, yeah. I think that's pretty much it for this week. I can't really think of anything to talk about. Um, oh, um, I've been listening to. I've, I'm li I literally as I was I was uh, as I was about to record this. I was about to listen to Avril second album, which I think it's called Under My Skin. Before I remembered that I had to record this, so yeah. Um, her first one was really good. I mean, there's some songs on it here that I've actually downloaded. Where are they? Hang on, I'll just get them here. 
you know, just go to my music playlist. I have a lot of songs. I have a lot of songs. I mean, yeah, all songs downloaded. Look at that. A lot of songs. Busted McFly, and yeah, there you go. There's a uh, compli- There's Losing Grip, which is a really good opening song. Uh, complicated classic. Um, I love the remix on FIFA 2003 as well. Uh, Skater Boy. What do I really need? What like do do I even need to say anything about that song? Like seriously. Uh, Mobile, great song. Anything but ordinary. That's a really good song. Things I'll Never Say is really good as well. They're all just really good songs. My World, Nobody's Fool, and Don't Laugh At Me, but I have this song as well. <laughs> laugh At Me All You Want. I bloody love that song. And yeah, um, I think I was listening to one of our other songs the other day. What was it? Here's the Never Growing Up, I think it's called. It sounded good so far, but when I get to that album, I will... Listen to that song, or whatever album it's on. Um, and I've also heard a little. I, I, I've I've also heard about Thirty Seconds, McFly's new song, and well, I think the song that came, their most recent song, uh, Happiness, which sounds pretty good. I think their most recent song before that was Love Is on the Radio, in twenty thirteen. You know, but that's before the McBusted came back. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go and listen to Under My Skin by Avril Lavigne, and yeah. Uh, Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.